Hello, sweeties. So today I am going to take you guys on a magical tour of my chore box. Yay. So inside I've got all of my chores. I made all of my dividers. I'll show you them up close. But this is kind of where I keep track of um, all of my daily kind of chores. Some of them I feel like are habits by now and some are just things that I never think about which is why I continue to look at my cards in my chore box. So like the first time I heard about something like this was my god you guys so long ago it was a book called sidetracked home executives um the she system i think they called it and you guys it was literally like the early 2000s like 2001 2002 something like that it was crazy long time ago and it's always been kind of something that has stuck in the back of my mind. I've gone back and forth between something like this and something like um, Fly Lady's home binder system, like the control journal, she calls it. Um, I kind of go back and forth between things like this and things like that. You know, I love binders because, like, planners. Um but this is what I've been using lately and this is something that I set up very recently this is um, I think the cards are four by six so it's kind of a little bit more beefy kind of more substantial I feel like than the smaller cards and I really like this box itself this metal recipe box I got this from the Target dollar spot I took the sticker off, but I think it was like five dollars. Um, but this really works well for me, so stay tuned and I'll flip the camera around and I'll show you how I've got it set up inside. Hey there, sweeties. So I'm gonna walk you through my chore box today, and I want to give you a really up close look so. That's why I'm so close to the camera. And I feel like some of the stuff in here is habit now, and that's why you'll see certain things. And I feel like some of the stuff I need to add more because, as I've talked about in one of my other videos, like keeping a house wasn't something that I really learned. So there are things in my house that need to be cleaned that I just don't ever think about. So there are things that I need to add. But I have this broken down by day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then I do just have a weekend tab. Then I have a tab for every day of the month. So 1 through 31. And I made all these myself. That's why some of these guys look kind of messy, but that's okay. I'm not into perfection. So what I do is let's see today's let's see I'm not sure how to ex explain all of this to you so let's just pull out Monday cards and every job that I do on Monday I have on a separate card so basically I do 15 minutes in each room for each day. So Monday is the front room. So Monday rolls around, I pull these cards. My son has his desk up there 
there's an entertainment center, so that needs to be straightened. We have our shoe bins up there to put all our shoes away. Dust, Clorox wipe door handles, Swiffer, and vacuum actually, like vacuum and then Swiffer. So what will happen is, like yesterday was the 24th, right? Monday, so I take out my Monday cards. Then I come back to the box and oh, I don't even have anything on the 24th. Let me see. Let's say today was the 9th. You know what I mean? Um, so I'll also pull the 9th. So I'll have these cards. Everyday cards are white. Monthly cards are orange. So every day I'll have the cards for the day of the week, and then I'll have the day of the month card. Does that make sense? So basically I'll do this one, and this doesn't have to be like done perfectly. I can stick five or ten minutes on this job. It doesn't matter as long as I'm doing it. All these cards I do in 15 minutes. If I can get them all done in 15 minutes, that's fine. Otherwise, I just work for 15 minutes. And on each card, it has last on. I put a last on. I struggle with this. I forget to write down the day that I did it last. So don't freak out when you're seeing 12, 4, 17. Um, I don't know how valuable it is. So it is something that I don't know if I'm going to keep doing. So end of the day, cards go back in. This will go back on the 9th and we'll move on to the next day. Tuesday is, Tuesday is the kitchen. So kitchen cards come out. So there's like detail clean the kitchen counters, Clorox light switches, Swiffer kitchen, vacuum, clean out fridge, like take away all the, you know, leftovers and stuff and take out one shelf and actually clear everything off the shelf and wash the shelf, scrub stove, clean coffee bar, clean off the breakfast bar. Clean microwave, clean range hood, reboot dishwasher, put away random things. I don't know, my kitchen collects all manner of things. So these would vary depending on you. You know what I mean? Like these are particular to me and my house and what I want to get done. Wednesday is the living room. So like vacuum the chairs, vacuum couches, swap the couch cushions, clean the coffee tables, clean the end tables, vacuum, mop, dust. Thursday is the master bedroom. So like mop the bathroom, vacuum bedroom, vacuum bathroom, clean off the room divider, clean off my vanity chair where I stash all of my clothes, <laughs> put away any clothes, clean the toilets, clean my bathroom counter, scrub sinks, put away towels. Clorox wipe, light switches, wash towels, dust, things like that. Friday is my Friday cleaning day, so I kind of just have everything listed off a little bit. Change sheets, change wax. And then 
I vacuum through the whole house, you know, things for the front room, the living room, vacuum through the house, mop, So that's how I have my week divided. The weekend, I don't have anything on the weekend. I try to not clean on the weekend. Each day page back here has something that doesn't need to be done every week, doesn't need to be done all the time. So like I have clean out the mail bin for the first day. move couch and clean underneath it for the front room, um, straighten cubbies, straighten entertainment center, which is something that actually con kind of honestly always needs to be done. That's why it's in both places. Straighten bookshelves, magic erase any sticky spots, clean the Keurig, Clean out a cupboard, wash door, reorganize pantry, dust, clean baseboards in the kitchen, clean the cat window, that's Millie's job, magic gray spots in kitchen, clean trash can, wipe front of appliances in the kitchen, Vacuum couches and living room, clean entertainment center, living room, clean computer desk, living room, pick up and put away planner stuff, living room, move couches and clean under in the living room, clean air vent, replace filter clean patio door, and that's all I have for each month. But there's things that I need to add, like cleaning the ends of my cupboards. Like I never would think about doing that, but looking at them, they get dirty. So that's something else that I need to add in here. So that is the basics of how I have my chore box set up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.